Look at that creeper. He is ascending right now. <laughs> Look at him ascend. <laughs> Look at him ascending. Oh my god. Happy November, everyone, and welcome to the channel if you're new. Today, we are going to be starting a new survival bedrock world. I am a bedrock player. <laughs> I kind of want to make this a all month thing and maybe throughout December and maybe January as well but I'm going to try to upload as often as possible this November daily if possible but honestly probably not <laughs> more like every other day is what I'm going to aim for but we're going to make this nefarious November I hope everyone is having a happy November so far even though today is the first and let's create the new world oh my goodness I'm always so excited for a new Let's Play world. And here we are. Oh my goodness, here we are. This is quite odd though. <laughs> I gotta say, this is pretty weird. Here's the starting chest. I usually add a um, starting chest or whatever bonus chest when I do a new world. Just because I'm noob and all of that good stuff. Look how cool this is though, we got a lot of water right here. I think from here that is a desert temple, which is pretty cool. We can go get the treasure out of there later. Real quick, I'm going to... I need to see what's over there. But I do want to get some resources real quick. We have some wood, let's see. I'm just going to go straight down here because I want to get some coal and maybe iron if I can. I'll craft a stone pickaxe with the bonus chest wood we got and get some iron. I see some copper as well. Some more coal. So that way we'll be good to go on that. And then we'll go up and see what this world holds. A brand new... Oops. <laughs> Let's mine the, um, the coal with my bread. Why don't we? Aren't I just so professional? <laughs> but... I'm very excited to start this new world, as I've probably said like a thousand times. I'm mainly a bedrock player. Here I go, mining my bread again. Honestly, I think my uh, mouse is starting to act out because I was playing murder mystery the other day, as I do. And for some reason, my mouse kept like going to my sword over and over, and I wasn't doing it. So I don't know what's going on with my mouse, but I might need to get another one soon. So my goals for this Let's Play, I want to... I don't want to geek out too hard. I want to make this last as long as possible. I gotta be careful not to die here. Oh my goodness! Okay, this is, um, what are they called? Oh my gosh, I forgot the name. I forgot the name. Oh no, no, no! Oh my gosh, oh no. I'm not prepared for you guys. They have golden armor, those skeletons. But look what we found! Look what we found! Okay. Slime. Please. Please, slime. We have some slime now, though, in case any frogs want to, you know, be friends with me. But what was- oh yeah, I see a lot of Let's Plays where people are, like, going to the end by the third episode, <laughs> and that's very impressive. I personally can't really do that because I'm too noob. I've been playing this game for 10 years, and I'm still... I'm too noob. But, regardless of being noob, I want to make this Let's Play last as long as possible, because back in the day, I grew up watching Let's Plays where they would go up to like 200 episodes, and I really enjoy that, so... I want to make this last as long as possible. <laughs> so I'm gonna try- oop, I need to make another pickaxe real quick. I'm gonna try to do that. I don't want to rush things. This is quite different for me as well. Usually the first thing I do is go like get some food or some trees. However, I went straight down into a giant hole to dig, which is not my normal play style, but we're living life on the edge right now, I guess. <laughs> some copper. My inventory is gonna be full before I can even do absolutely anything and I don't know my surroundings as well it looks to me like we're in a desert which is not going to be good when I start getting hungry because we only have like bread and maybe a fish I think 
yeah, we have a few pieces of raw salmon. Recently, I really wanted to go back and play... Oh no, excuse me, where is that coming from? I think, yeah. Look at you, bro. Oh my gosh, there's two. This is not a good idea. This is, oh no, this is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. Zombie, look what you got me into. We are going to be locked and loaded and prepared because I already have all this iron. But I, <laughs> you know what's not good is I don't have any food or a bed. Maybe that was a stupid idea coming down here. All right, what I'm gonna do is come up here, look at our surroundings, and hopefully I can get some food. And then I might wanna come back down there and get the rest of the iron and maybe clay because we could use that to make bricks for our starter house. I usually like to build with bricks, which is sometimes hard to get. All right, over here, I see some trees. So I'm going to go over here. I had to do it, buddy. I need food. Real quick, let's um, get out our crafting table, make a furnace real quick, and I'm so sorry for having to kill that rabbit, but I'm about to starve. Alright, we can go over there, it looks like, and get some more wood if we need it. Not an ideal place for food. I guess since I don't have wool to make a bed, we can go back down there and finish getting, um, finish getting the rest of the iron and maybe clay. While the sun goes down, I'm going to go back down in our little hole that we found, that we spawned in, shall I say. I got the achievement, cook and eat rabbit meat. I must have- have I- oh my gosh, he's got a trident, that's not good. Please sir, I'm sorry. Have I honestly never killed and ate a rabbit in bedrock? Apparently not. But come to think of it, I never do kill rabbits to eat them, I always kill like a cow, so... It's really not that surprising. Let's go back down here. Even though I don't want to because it's going to be scary. Wish me luck everyone on trying to post every- at least every other day. Huh? You see that rabbit meat right there? <laughs> okay, this is sent from the heavens. How other- would you- how would you explain that otherwise is what I'm trying to say. Rabbit meat right there. I did not do that. I did not kill a rabbit right there. I just came back down from the top, so I'm speechless. My inventory is already full. Look at all those mobs over there waiting for me. They're getting stuck in like the waterfall, but they are waiting for me. What's up, baby? Zombie, what are you doing, buddy? Creeper up there is going to want to come and get me. Hold me. Go ahead and blow up because there's nothing really valuable that I- Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sir, please. Okay. Anyway. What I was going to say is I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to smelt, um, wait for the iron to smelt. And I think I want to get the, the moss out there because we could use that on our house as well. I think that would be really pretty. I see you, creeper. Oh my goodness. Can he get me if I'm back here? Probably. All right, so off camera, I was waiting for the iron to smelt. And that creeper, <laughs> the same creeper blew up. Thankfully, he didn't kill me. But he blew up the furnace. I still have the iron though, thank goodness. But I think he blew up the furnace. I had to run up here very fast because he was like, mobs were out to get me. But now it's daytime. Oh my goodness. See, they're still out to get me. Skeleton, I, I do not have time for this. I'm having to eat zombie flesh. It's that bad, you know what I mean? I will be very happy. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh my goodness, no creeper. 
he's gonna get me too. I am not doing too well right now. myself into look at that creeper he is ascending right now <laughs> look at him ascend <laughs> look at him ascending oh my gosh and see all that farting around that those mobs made me do it's gonna be dark again like look at that but regardless, if I can just get out of <laughs> out of there because that's terrible, I think I'll be doing good. I'll be doing better up here than down there. Alright, let's put down the crafting table. We're really struggling right now. So that means I can make... Um, don't come over here, bro. Don't come over here. <laughs> Just gonna make it mad. We need um, a boat with a chest because my inventory is so full. I scared him away. Look at him. He is cowering away with fear. Oops. Because I scared him so bad. Praise Jesus for the starter chest because if I didn't have like that starter wood, I would be screwed right now. So I'm really thankful for that. And let's go this way, I guess. One thing I would like to do before we head over there is I want to place a block over here to represent this is where we spawned in. I think we spawned in about right, right over here, I think. So let's place that as where we spawned in. I don't have enough wood to make a sign, which sucks, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's get in here. That's our little starting area. So we'll know if we ever come back to this spot, we'll know that's where we spawned in, like our first step into the world. That's pretty cool. Thankfully, there is some wood over here that we can gather because, oh my gosh, I need it. I need some wood. I need food. But like, look at us. We have our little chest in the boat. All of our iron we collected. We're doing- ooh, okay, so there's another one. This one and this one. Maybe they'll have uh, some diamonds we can gather. I really need some wool. Like, really bad. I'm gonna leave our boat right there. Hello there. If anything, I can eat y'all's flesh because I need it. As terrible as that is, but we're- We're not doing too good, y'all. All right, we torch this area up. Let's go get the treasure, I guess. Why not? Watch me like go down here like this and still activate the pressure plate. That would be the worst thing ever. Or if like a creeper falls down and makes, makes us all go down with him. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, okay, three diamonds, three diamonds, let's go, three diamonds, let's go, and some horse armor. Diamond horse armor, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Respiration two, I'll take it. I'm gonna take the rotten flesh number one because I need it for food. <laughs> and um, another diamond, oh my gosh, another diamond, this is beautiful. Also, let me get some of the string just so I can make um, a fishing pole and then we won't be starving too bad if I can fish. So that's not, that won't be too bad. I forgot about making a fishing pole. Alright, there's that. Which, that was pretty successful. We got all of this good stuff. I'm going to make, have to make another boat with a chest or something. <laughs> Alright, so at this point, 
I cannot die because I'm carrying four diamonds. How exciting is that though? How exciting is that we have our first four diamonds of the series? That is pretty exciting for me. Oh my gosh, we need wool really bad. At least now we have some food though. If we find a village, because I have so much zombie flesh, we could probably trade um, the zombie flesh for some emeralds. While I was sitting AFK, I heard, um, I guess a wandering trader. Yeah, because I heard llamas too, so it's a wandering trader. And it scared me because I was like doing Duolingo, waiting for the um, sun to rise. So I was doing Duolingo and I heard that and I thought, oh my gosh, who's came to get me, you know what I mean? But it's just a trader, I heard him. So let's see, it's still dark, ooh, a creeper. All right, so the moon's going down. A village, okay, how did I not see that earlier? When we came in here, how did I not see that? I had to see that, but I didn't, I'm so, I don't know what's wrong with me, honestly. Okay, here you are, I knew I heard you. He's invisible though. Probably zombies because they pick on me. All right, so I can rest easy knowing there's a village over there. That's beautiful. My computer is getting so loud right now. That's not good. Let's see, you don't have anything good, sir. I'm sorry. If I could make it over here, actually, in time to sleep, that would be really good. Because I don't want, um, what are they called? Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name. <laughs> Terrible winged animals that try to come and kill me at night if I don't sleep. Of course, you guys know what I'm talking about. But I really need their bed. The thing about the village is hopefully I can get some of their food if they have any and still from their chests as bad as that is but hey I'm glad to find civilization after everything we've been through what a start this is but I'm really thankful because it's been a cool start Beetroots and a kitty oh my gosh a kitty I want you kitty I don't have any raw fish on me but I still want you Let's see all right villagers sorry for taking your crops but I really need it if you guys have like carrots or potatoes that would be really good I guess I can't sleep still can I right yeah Hello, Golem. I'm not here to hurt anybody. I just want your food. I know I'm terrible. They have plenty of wheat, which is really good. What else do you guys have? More wheat and some green dye. That's pretty cool. Bread. Potatoes. Okay, here we go. This is what I've really been anticipating is potatoes. Because at least I can bake these and it'll restore a lot of um, the food bar. Don't be taking the potatoes through their mine. I know they're actually yours, but I need them more than you do. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Still sleeping, sir. It's the middle of the day. Oh my goodness, look at that kitty. I need some fish so bad. I need to go get those trees because that's what I came here initially to do. Is get some wood and then I got distracted by, well, it was nighttime and also the desert temple. I still need to raid this one. So I'll go down and do that, but I need wood first. 
and I also need to cook the potatoes and get some fish and tame kitty or something. <laughs> Is that a- okay, that's a bunny. I'm sorry I had to kill that other bunny earlier. I was about to starve. I love this world so much already. This is really cool. Hopefully we can find um, like some green <laughs> greenery, some trees that's not like desert. We'll have to see. Also, I need to go back over there and see what was, even though I don't want to go back over there because it was so traumatizing, I need to see what's on the other side of the hill because I did not do that earlier. At least this is some greenery, though. We can get some trees. That squid just died, which is sad. I don't know why they do it, but they just die while they're in the water. Sometimes they get stuck on land. But I don't know how they do it. <laughs> a sheep! Oh my gosh, I need you so bad. I'm not going to kill the sheep. I just have shears on me. Where are my shears? Here they are. So I can get some of your wool. What can I take out of my inventory? Let's see. Uh, I don't need that. Just yet, at least. flowers which is nice that looks weird from here it kind of looks like a heart in a way doesn't that look like a heart maybe not i'm crazy and a llama hey buddy what's up you're looking fabulous i'm on a llama <laughs> he kicked me off but that's okay if i had any i have slime though how cool would that be if i could tame the llama that would be really cool. I can get more wool because he grew some back that fast. Now I have enough for a bed, which is awesome. So I need to turn this into yellow dye. And where's my crafting table? We're getting down. We're getting down to business right now. Alright, here's our bed. We have a pretty little yellow bed. Alright, I'm setting up camp. Again, like right here, just temporarily because I need to smell the potatoes. Also that raw rabbit that the heavens sent us <laughs> earlier in the game. And I would really like to- here's some pork chops. I killed a pig earlier, but my inventory was full. Sorry, pig. I would like to take this llama back with us. How cool would that be? He's tame now, see? Like, how cool is that? I would really like to take the llama back with us. However, it would be kind of difficult, I guess. I don't know. We have the requirements. We have wool and slime balls, so we could do it, maybe. Alright, so we have our cooked baked potatoes, we have pork chops now, and we need to cook the rabbit meat. Let's cook that real quick. And I don't know what to do. I want to take the llama with us. Let's see, let's see about it. Let's get out our slime. We have wool, we can make a weed. Alright, this is going to be exciting. Let's put that back up. Alright, llama. Alright, buddy, let's go this way. You can put chests on llamas, can't you? Because that would be very helpful if we can do that. Let's do that if we can. <coughs> Can I put a chest on you? Alright, let's place our bed down and sleep so no zombies can get us. There's some zombies. Okay, 
Okay, we just put the, um, zombie, don't you dare, we put the chest on our llama, so that'll be really helpful. Yeah. How do you, uh, it's not much chest, but it's something. Alright, buddy, let's go this way, away from that zombie. Alright, let's take our bed and the crafting table, and I guess the furnace if we can. I need more leads, so oh my gosh, this is getting confusing. <laughs> we need a name for the llama too, like what should we name the llama? This is such a majestic moment, we have me the llama. <laughs> <laughs> Two um, boats with chests. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So next we need to go raid that over there. Alright, buddy. Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh. This is so mad. This is madness. What's going to take a while, though, is getting the llama to, like, follow us without the lead breaking. Because I know sometimes leads do break. Let's see how- look at the the wandering trader! Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. I need- now, you know what I need? I need, um, a fence post, too. I'm going to go get some loot down here. Alright, let's loot this area real quick if we can. I'm doing, I just, I can't even believe what I've got myself into. Like, when I play Minecraft, usually, you know, like, I just do it in the most safest way, I guess you could say. <laughs> right now, I can't even believe what I've got myself into. Alright, we're safe. Another saddle. Iron. I'll take the iron, I won't complain. And, oh, gapples! We got gapples. Oh my gosh, we got gapples. That's what I'm talking about. And another saddle. Now let's go back up. Alright, that was easy enough. We don't need that. I, I'm gonna throw out the green die because we have to be really specific with what we carry right now. I guess since we're on land now, it's going to be dark soon. I'll sleep in the bed, and then after we sleep, we can go adventuring. I wanted to see what was over there, in case there might be another desert temple. So, if I leave him here, will he be fine, you think? Like, if I leave you here, buddy, will you be okay? Like, I pray so. We have three saddles, I don't even- that might be overkill. But I mean, hey, you know what I mean? Alright, so I'm going to get in this boat. He's tied to the fence post and really my crafting table there. I pray that the llama will be fine. I just want to go before we go that way. I think I want to go over that mountain is where I want to travel. But just in case there's like another desert temple over here or anything cool, another village maybe. I want to check just what's over here. And then we'll go back and get the llama. Let's pray the llama will be fine. And then I don't know what we'll do. <laughs> all right, all I see. Okay, wait, no. I see. Um, I see another desert temple. Let's sleep real quick. What I can see from here is it looks like more ocean that way. And then the desert temple over here. My laptop is running very loud right now. Alright, here we are. So this is three desert temples all in like the main little area. Which is, I guess, kind of rare. I usually don't encounter that very often, so that's pretty cool. There we go. Emeralds, pretty cool, pretty cool. Some gold. More zombie flesh. More gold. Golden horse armor, which is pretty cool. Depth strider. All right. Okay. Cool. We are. We are. We're getting some stuff. We're making our way up in life. There's our boat. I couldn't find it for the longest time. And our little spawn area with all of that terrible madness going on. 
looks pretty crazy. Alright, let's go see if our llama friend is still where we left him, and I guess travel this way because all I saw behind us, I just saw ocean and more desert. Nothing too interesting where I want to settle down and build a house, so I don't know how much I'll edit out, but regardless of how much I edit out, I've been playing for like an hour, <laughs> probably a little bit over an hour, just geeking out. This is so crazy. Oh no. Okay, there's the llama. Oh my gosh, I was getting nervous because I had like the chest on him too. A family of rabbits and the llama. Pretty cool. So here is where, look at the bunny. This is where things is going to get a little bit difficult. You know what, little buddy? I need another llama. I really, really need, yeah, I need another llama really bad. So what would be perfect because I can't carry, like, the boats with me if we're going to be traveling by land? I need some more llamas. I really do. We need more llamas really bad right now. Alright, so right now my plan is off camera. I think I'm going to wait around, try to find another llama. If I do find another llama, try to fit all of our luggage and everything we found. If I can't fit everything I want, I'll just leave these boats here. And maybe we can come back for them, depends on how far I travel. So that's the plan. <laughs> the llama's like looking at me while I give my spill, but yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. Ooh!